na mnai taarifa ni njema kwa maeneo baadhi na ni mbaya kwa maeneo baadhi ni kwamba kaunti ya Mabei imeandikisha idadi ya juu zaidi ya maambukizi ya virusi vya HIV kwenye ripoti mpya kuhusu maambukizi ya virusi vya HIV kaunti hiyo inaandikisha asilimia 19.6 ya jumla ya maambukizi nchini huko eneo zima la Nyanza likiongoza kwa maambukizi. Hata hivyo maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki mwa Kenya maambukizi yako chini mno huko kaunti ya Garissa ikikosa kuandikisha maambukizi. There are now showing a significantly higher burden of the disease in women compared to men. The same worrying trend is also emerging in sub-Saharan region as evidenced by other regional surveys. The latest Kemfi numbers continue to display the heterogeneous burden of HIV in our country. The top 5 HIV prevalence counties with a prevalence more than 9% are Homa Bay, Kisumu, Siaya, Migori and Busia. While the lowest pre- prevalence under 2% was registered in the 9 counties of Samburu, Tana River, Garissa, Wajer, Mandera, Masabit, Kiambu, West Pokot and Baringo. Current HIV strategic plans and efforts in HIV prevention are already focusing their efforts in the top 5 high prevalence counties. However, more attention needs to be paid to the counties that have an emerging epidemic as evidenced by the consistent rise in the HIV burden. Among these are the counties of Turkana at 6.8% and Kisi at 6.1% prevalence. Today in Kenya, over 1.1 million people with HIV are benefiting from antiretroviral treatment. A remarkable achievement and a testimony to the strength and resiliency of our HIV program. Um the Western and Nyanza area having high prevalence and Um, even though the over time the time uh, even the other surveys that we have done before the prevalence has been uh, um, slightly higher um, comparison to the country and even in comparison to um, to the other geographical areas of the country now there are several factors which um, will bring the place uh, the the, can- the counties having the higher prevalence But right now we could say it's cuz people are living longer and I think when you go to um to several cohorts in the counties you will notice that we are having 50 to 64 um a high percentage of both male and female to be threatened to be having to live a life of fear that you might die is a challenge that no one but them no and they and sometimes they give up and and I've seen this with young people when you sit with someone and and and, and try to explain to them why they have to take the dawa they say but it doesn't taste good but why am I taking and I'm going to die anyway if you sat with a young person Listening to them tell you that story, you know what a challenge it is. And so we should be congratulating the countless people. Living with the challenge and managing their success successfully. 